Hi, this is my first time doing a Facebook Live video and it's also my first time trying to make Koji. So we'll see how this works, but I'm going to introduce you to just the tools first that I'm going to use to try and make Koji. So I've got my Koji starter. And this is what it looks like. This is the light it's for making the light style Koji. Um, and I get it from a place called Gem Cultures and they're located in Lakewood, uh, Washington. And I ordered all of this online um, and they send it through the mail. Um, so this is the starter that I'll be using. Um, I'm eventually going to use a quarter cup of flour with the starter and then polished rice. We're going to uh, have to uh, soak this um, for a while and then we're going to steam it. So those are the basic, basic food ingredients for the koji. Uh, next we're going to look at some of the utensils. You're going to need a steamer um, and there's two ways you can do this. You can probably just use a four to six quart stock pot um, and then have one of these steamer baskets in it. Just needs to make sure that there's two inches, um, it comes up two inches above the, the bottom of the stock pot because you're going to add about an inch and a half of water and it, you don't want it to sit in the water. Um, I'm going to use, uh, I have a steamer, my own steamer here, which I'm going to use. It's all set up, so I'm going to use that to steam um, the rice eventually. Um, then you're going to need just a regular colander to drain the rice after it's soaked. Um, later on you'll need sort of a 10 by 14 by 2.5 glass um, or stainless steel pan to cool um, the steamed rice. Um, then we're going to, you ha also need a small skillet and a small bowl and a wooden spoon to stir up the starter before we add it to the steamed, uh, steamed rice. We're also going to need a thermometer to check the internal temperature of the koji as it's developing. Um, also going to need a 20 inch square of cheesecloth um, to use uh, with the steamed rice and then we're to keep it the steamed rice incubated for a period of time we're going to need some additional terry, terry cloth towels. So this is a large sort of bath size towel and then a smaller towel and um, there's one other thing that's not shown here and that is going to be some lighter, tighter weave cloth, maybe like a dish towel um, that we'll use as well. So those are the basic um, tools that we're going to use and we'll see how this goes.